Hey everyone, I want to show you something cool I'm doing with Zoom Docs. I'm kind of worried that a lot of people still think of Zoom Docs as, as just a word processor, and there's actually a lot more you can do with it. So I'm going to show you how I use it in a, in a way that I can't use a, a word processor for, and I'm going to show you how it makes it a different kind of tool. You know, word processor, I open it up, I create my doc, I make my changes, I save it, I share it, and I'm out of it. This is something I, I have open all the time and I use throughout the day. So having it right there inside Zoom Workplace, where I'm finding myself more and more during my day, doing my work, is obviously, well, that's the whole point. So let me bring up the doc, and it is my Let's Do Video Video Projects uh, Management Board. And I'm going to, let me get myself out of the way here. And these are, my, I'm showing you my real stuff here. So the least you could do is, is like and subscribe. I'm not showing you this. So I have some secret projects, but this is all real stuff. And you could see it's one of my favorite things. My favorite way to manage projects. It's a sticky note board. Right here is the sticky note for the video you're watching right now. It's in progress and it's on fire. It's, it's the hottest priority. I want to get this out to you because I love you all so much. And I set myself a deadline for it. And after it's recorded, it'll be in the recorded queue where I have two other recorded videos. These are done. I can't wait to edit them. And then they'll be edited. Then I'll move them to, to video live. And that's when I'll add the YouTube link. These links are all, all live. I can click on them and pop open the video, get all my information. And I'm trying to now get in the habit of making shorts. So when I make the shorts, it'll, it'll go over there. And it's a sticky note board. I, you know, it's simple. It's not rocket science. That's what I love about it. It's one of my favorite ways to, to manage projects. Let me bring this card back over to where it belongs to reset it. And, and of course, it's in Zoom Docs. So one of the key things, I'm actually showing you the wrong way to use this. I always, always, when I'm in Zoom Docs, if you watch my last video, have my AI companion open. Why wouldn't I want to have my, my smart virtual friend there helping me as I manage my projects? So let me, just to, just to show really quickly, it's not what this video is about, it's what the last video is about, AI companion 2.0. But let's have it, um, quickly summarize the doc. I always like to start by clicking that summarize the doc button. It just, it just verifies to me that it's actually looking at my doc and it knows what I'm doing. I can't get over that. And real quick, just to show how I could use this to help me. Do I have any deadlines? And it went through the board and pulled out and listed my deadlines. You could see how with a, a bigger, more complicated board, maybe with multiple team members, that kind of thing could be very, very helpful. But now I'm going to do something which you should almost never really do. I'm going to close AI Companion. Goodbye, AI Companion. So we could focus on the board for a minute. Now, I don't want to spend too much time on this. This is a, a demo. This isn't a tutorial. And you could figure this out yourself. I'm a watch the tutorial kind of guy. Before I make a board like this, I go to YouTube and watch a bunch of videos and, and see if there's any guides. And I didn't for this. I just created this. It was really, really easy. Actually, let me make a new board right now to show you how easy it is to make a board. Let me scroll down. On the same doc, I can make a new board. If you're doing multiple different types of projects, you might want to. So I go to create and I'm a little bit in the way here, but that's okay. Scroll down and it's a board view data table. And there you have a basic starter board and you could see I've customized the lists. I've customized the, the items within the, t within the, um, within each card uh, to make it into, to my board here. And again, I don't want to make this a full tutorial, but let me show you a little bit of how we can customize it. Let's open up our card for, for this project that we're in again right now. And you could see there's, you could see there's columns. Basically a board is another way to show a table behind the scenes. It's a table like behind the scenes, everything's ones and zeros. It takes away some of the magic. I hate to think of it as columns, but, but the, the, the items in, in a card, they're columns. So, uh, one column is what I have is, is YouTube. And what it is, it's, it's just a text, it's just a text field. And that's where you put in the YouTube link. There's different types of columns. So if I want to, um, add a new column, just to show you the types, uh, I'm in the way, but texts, uh, um, uh, multiple select date. There's a whole bunch of things here. People, and we'll get into that later. Um, uh, check boxes. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff we could do in here. Uh, I should probably delete the one that I just added <laughs> for the point of the demo. So this one is, is a deadline and it's, it, it pops up a calendar and you can make a deadline for any, um, uh, for any one of your cards. Now you might be saying, why are they hidden? And why can I see the hidden? If it's hidden, I shouldn't be able to see it. Hi well, I'm hiding the hidden and showing the hidden. Hidden means whether it's it's shown in the board view or not. So for example, social, and, and I made a checkbox. Once I put it up on LinkedIn, after the video is done, click this. I know it's up on LinkedIn. Um, 
But if I want that to show, I can get my head out of the way. Show column. Now let's go back to the board view. Now you see that social box on all the cards. So that's how you just decide if it's shown uh, in this view where we have to click to look at it. Um, I want to put it back where it was. So I'm going to hide the column. So the priority tab, that is a, um, a multiple select list. So low priority or, or on fire. So it's super customizable and I'm, I'm kind of changing as I go. Like you might say, you know, it might not make sense to have a checkbox for social. Why do I want a checkbox in, in each card? Maybe I want to make the new group. Maybe after I post the shorts, maybe this should be social and maybe I should get rid of that checkbox. I could do it either way. Or maybe I don't want to have a, a uh, in the opposite direction. Maybe I don't want to have a list for shorts. Maybe I just want to keep the video live as the last list, have them all there and make a checkbox when I do the shorts. It's very easy to change it up. But let's get into the last thing I want to show you, which is how to make this a team project board. Now you could see when I open this card, there is a section for comments. Now I could put comments for myself if there's just something I want to remember as I'm doing this project, but obviously comments are a great way to communicate with other people who might be looking at this card. So you can share the board with people as you could share any Zoom doc, you could share access to the board. And once someone has access to the board, you can make a, let me show you, we can make a new column and I'm going to edit the column. I'm going to call it people. Well, I guess I can call it team members, assign people, whatever, but I'm going to select the people uh, a type of, of what it is, type of, of column. And now when I click there, look at this. Uh, I'm using my friend Kelly as, as an example. Thank you, Kelly, for letting me add you to this board. And so now I can assign myself to this card. And so look what happens. Let me see. Uh, let me assign Kelly to this one and I'll assign, I'm just going to do some random, um, assigns here, assign multiple people to, to, to cards. And now as you just look through the board, you can get a sense of which team members are assigned to what, what cards. And if you're doing a, a scrum or a team meeting and you want to catch up on uh, what people are working on team member by team member, this is what really gets powerful. There is a, a filters. So now I can go to filters by people. And if I select Kelly, then just her cards come up. So at their, our team meeting, I could say, okay, let's go through Kelly's projects. Kelly, you know, what, pro what progress have you made on your pro uh, projects? Then we can go back to the filter and change it from Kelly to me. And I could say, okay, so here's my projects and here's an update on what I'm working on. It's a team board. So let me turn off that filter and get all my cards back. I'm, I want to see all my cards. This is, this is, I'm actually, this is my board. I'm actually using this now. I've, I created it just to make this video for you. But after having it up for just a few days, I am completely reliant on this thing already. Uh, it's already making a difference. One last thing I just have to show you. As you can see, we're in Zoom. So you might be thinking, oh, this is great. We can use our little zoom share button and i can share my screen and share my my sticky note board with my team and use that for team management but you could do something even better look over here there it is and there's a docs button and when i click it let's pop it open here here are all of my docs and i can open it just for myself so if i wanted to reference it in here and just see it myself i could do it but i can share it and I have the option of sharing it so the people in the meeting can use it during the meeting or they can have persistent. They can, you know, they can use it after the meeting. So I'm going to share it. And here's, here's my sticky note board. So anyone in this meeting with me, if I was in a meeting with my team, anyone could move cards around, add cards, add comments, edit cards. Uh, we could work on this board together. And then when the meeting is over, everyone would have access to it. Now we're getting really powerful. So I hope you enjoyed that and found it helpful. Um, let me know in the comments. I, I went with the quick demo approach. I just wanted to kind of show you what this can do and how I'm using it and how it isn't just a word processor. And I, I, I didn't really give you a tutorial. Uh, if you want to, if you really want me to show you what all the different buttons do and everything you can do with it, with a, with the sticky note board here, uh, please let me know in the comments. And of course, thank you so much for, so much for watching. Uh, please like, and subscribe.